is uh, it's the new anti-Semitism and it legitimizes attacks against Jewish students. We've had examples of Jewish students that have come forward and said they feel intimidated, they don't want to identify themselves as being Jewish. That has happened on a lot of campuses recently. Well, he would say that, wouldn't he? That's the JDL, the Jewish Defense League. But actually, he's a pretty good guy and, and pretty fair-minded on this. Look, students are what they are. They're annoying, spoiled little brats. I was one once. I have kids who are now. I mean, it's an easy life. They're going to be radical. It's part of the game. But to single out, to single out the only Jewish state in the entire world is deeply problematic, as it would be if they singled out the only Muslim state. There are many. Or the only Christian state. There are many. Paige McPherson, uh, uh, straight talk contributor at Sun News and wonderful in so many ways. You've been covering this. I, I sit just behind you and I hear the phone calls you have with people and you're pleading with them, can we not please discuss this? And they're so bloody minded towards you. This is Ryerson now, which was a poly, now it's university, and uh, apparently the whole of the IDF is mobilizing because Ryerson students are boycotting Israel. <laughs> Yeah, what we saw at Ryerson University definitely is that a lot of students are intimidated. So what he was saying is correct, mm -hmm. and you, what you're saying is correct. I have spoken with a lot of students, both at Ryerson University and at Windsor, the University of Windsor, where I've worked on similar stories to do with Israeli boycotts, and uh, it's the same thing. Student, Jewish students are scared on campus. At Ryerson, what we saw is uh, that the student union, uh, about 100 students, was quorum at this annual general meeting. Mm -hmm. They voted to boycott Israel with a presence of about 250 students students on behalf of the 38,000 or so students at Ryerson University. So that's when it's entirely clear. This is always the way. Yes. 38,000, 30, 35,000, whatever it is, uh, most of them are just being students or having fun. And yep. uh, there's a, a, a hardcore of 100 or so who are left wing and they do this. But does it really matter? I mean, does it really affect the future stability and prosperity of Israel that a bunch of, of idiots at Ryerson say, we're going to boycott you? No, since the, um, the boycott divestment sanctions movement has started, mm -hmm. it's not like Israel's economy has lagged or, or suffered from this. Of course not. Um, and also what we see is that the university administrations uh, also don't accept this boycott. We no. saw this at Ryerson. No. And we saw this at the University of Windsor. Just because the students are saying something, it doesn't hold the university hostage to do right, that. Let's see a clip because, I mean, these kids are extremely annoying, but let's see how they behave. <laughs> Can the speaker please be seated? Be seated, please. Thank you. Please be seated. Please be seated. All those in favor of the motion? For all the Jews that stand with me, I'm sorry, I'm standing up for my dignity and my rights. No, I am sorry. Please For all that stand with and so on and so on. Look, let's move on from this because, I mean, frankly, although they irritate me, they don't matter in the long run and they should just grow up. Justin Trudeau still has to grow up. Uh, he spoke to an Iranian language newspaper, media organization, Salam, recently. And let's just see a brief clip of, of what he said to them, please. But whether it's a positioning around Israel or positioning around uh, uh, working closely with the United States, He's very, very much focused on what is going to play well at the ballot box. So he says, uh, oh, here we have uh, the, the Harper government trying to get the Jewish vote. Or did he mean the Jewish money? But then, then he gives a speech to a Jewish organization and he seems to change his mind. Let's have a look at that, please. The Liberal Party of Canada will have Israel's back. Not because it's in our political interests to do so at home, but because it is the right thing to do. Oh, substitute drama teaching at its best. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, that speech was definitely peppered with a lot of big words, very dramatic. I was at this event last night, yeah. um, and uh, it's for the Meir Hospital in Israel, the foundation there. And Justin Trudeau was actually given a Medal of Merit from this foundation. Uh, the event was well attended by a lot of liberals uh, and a lot of people in the Jewish community. Um, and, and yeah, this speech that he delivered via video, because he was home with his uh, his baby, so he couldn't make it, apparently, um, was, was pretty different, I think, than what we heard when he was speaking to mm. Salam, when he was speaking to the Iranian community specifically even saying that he agrees with the, uh, the government of Canada when it comes to negotiations, when it comes to the two-state solution. What? Oh, I agree with the government of Canada. But he did make the point, as we saw there, that he's not doing this for political gain. He's not doing it to gain votes. But, I mean, he's doing this at a Jewish community event, and he's making his position clear on this. But he's not pandering for votes. Um, 
I don't really know what the difference is. This is not the mainstream <laughs> Jewish community. I mean, th th this is not. Th there are some organizations that represent the mass of Jewish people in this country. Mm -hmm. This is more on the left, if you like, with a lot of liberal people. But it's just, it's extraordinary that he'll speak to Iranians and say, you have a right to have a nuclear program. And Israel has to change a little bit. Then he speaks to Jews and says, you're doing the right thing. And then he accuses Harper of being a hypocrite. Right. And at this very event, you know, there was a presentation on the threat of Iran. I mean, this is a big issue for the Jewish community. And, I, and how, yeah, and for everyone, absolutely, everybody okay. in the free world. Right. And uh, yeah, the double standard is interesting. Justin Trudeau said that his big difference, or the big difference that I picked up in his policy that he gave in this speech, somewhat All policy, right. was that uh, he thinks that we have to work within the United Nations. Yeah, he doesn't think anything. He thinks what he's had the same thing. By the way, can we boycott Justin Trudeau? <laughs> you certainly can if you want. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.